Okay, in this video I'll show you how to master the robot. This is our robot and our KSC1 console. Um, I hope you can see the screen. Um, so I get the message uh, down here, perform mastering of A1, axis 1. That's the base axis, so I'll show you how to master that. And I can show you how to master the second one. So, to master we need the EMT tool, this one, and that is connected to the robot uh, base in a connection called X32. It's here on the back, down there behind the robot. And we need to connect this to the robot while it's moving. This is a mechanical switch, so a sort of electronic tool with a little pin that goes into a little uh, metal, uh, metal cut the robot that's illustrated here. Um, we'll see how these lights light up when it goes uh, into this crease and comes out again. It knows exactly what's the position of the robot. This one connects to here, but first we need to connect this one to the robot, and then we connect this one. Okay. Um, firstly, we need to move the robot to its overall position by jogging it, and we need these uh, little um, places on the robot to be sort of overlapping each other. Um, show you like uh, for this axis we want, as you see, the little black crease there, just aligned with this. So it's aligned right there, more or less, just roughly. And the same I've done with the other uh, axis. Um, so we need to attach our EMT tool to the to this connector so that the little pin can go into the crease and I connect my tool and I see the LEDs are lighting up on the tool um, and now I go with the console Let's see if we can hit it all. Um, I go to setup and I want to master, so I press one. I want to use the EMT, so I press one. I want to just go standard without any load correction, so I press zero. And I say we can also check mastering if if the robot is just slightly out of we have a suspicion that it's out of calibration we can say check mastering uh, but we just need to set mastering now we get the list up if all the axes are mastered then they would all be shown on this but now I've just unmastered axis one so that's the only one we will master so I just press down here in the bottom we need to check the console say master and then it actually doesn't show anything it just says start key required. Start key is the green one. So now when I press the green one, we'll hopefully see the robot slow, slowly, slowly move. Now we can't see it because of the wire there, but then I'm holding the dead man's grip and the green play key or go key. And now it's done. It says EMT mastering distance exceeded, so it didn't succeed in mastering. Um, so we need to run again. We can see the robot axis is still there. I'll just check that my that is actually aligned. It was a little bit too far from my alignment here, and I'm of course doing everything in T1 mode. So always in T1 mode if you're close to the robot and using the console. And nobody else can be within the robot area while this is happening. Um, so I'm holding the dead man's button and I'm just turning X1 to alive. Um, and I'm saying mastering. And we go again. Now I see the green light. One green light here, 
two green lights, one green light, and then it's done. Then I can release. So now it says no access to master. So access one is mastered. And the same goes for the other axes. We want to align those points, move the EMT, and press the green button, and so forth. Okay.